Do you want a better webcam for your PC? Would that be for Zoom calls, content creation, live streaming, YouTube, whatever? Well, today I'm going to show you how to get the camera from your Android phone to show up on your computer, how to record straight onto your computer, and how to live stream using it. Stay tuned! What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Craig, otherwise known as the Big Funny Gamer Online. I'm a content creator here on YouTube and on Twitch, helping you with tech issues and to improve your content one step at a time. So in today's video, as I said, we're going to be showing you how to use your Android phone or tablet as a webcam on your PC. So let's let's go ahead, let's get straight into it. Okay, then, so for today's example, what we're going to do is we're going to be using a app called Droidcam. So if you go onto your Android device, go into your Play Store, on the search bar at the top, search for Droidcam. I've already got it pre-selected there. And this one at the top here that's green, uh, we're just going to click on that. Now there is Droidcam and Droidcam X. Um, there's a few little differences. Droidcam is a completely free software that anyone can use. Droidcam X is a paid for version. I think it's about five or seven pounds, something like that. Um, and it just unlocks a few more features. I think the pro version includes a little bit higher resolution and a few extra options to be able to tweak it, like mirror image, flip, uh, your brightness hue, saturation, all within the one app. We don't really need to worry about that for today, but if you do think those features will be useful, give the free version a trial first, make sure it works for your system, your setup, and if it does seem like the investment's worth it, then just spend the five pounds. So now we're on the Droidcam page on uh, Android. We're gonna click download. I've already got mine downloaded because I'm prepared for this video. And then we're gonna give it an open. When you open it up, it'll ask you whether it's allowed to take pictures of record video. Uh, so we're gonna click while using the app. Yes, and allow Droidcam to record audio. Um, we'll press while using the app as well. You can always turn the audio off um, when, actually, when you're actually using this later. All right, and that is basically it for what you need to do with installing the app on your phone. So now we need to head over to the PC. Uh, we need to download the software for this and then get the two linked together so that it can pull the video feed from your phone over Wi-Fi into your computer. So let's get on with that. Okay, so here we are on the computer then. I'm already on the website. It's dev47apps.com. Um, you can also just do a Google search for Droidcam and it will be the first thing that pops up on Google. What we then need to do is on here, we need to select what client we need. So for the majority of people who are watching this, it's gonna be Windows client, I imagine. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't work with uh, Mac yet. I don't know whether that's gonna be in development, uh, but if not, then let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a video on one that does work with Mac and I'll see if I can do a video on that for you guys. But for now, we're gonna click on download Windows client and then Droid Cam client at the top. And now that it's downloaded, we're just going to click on setup and get that running. Click yes. This wizard will guide you through the installation, blah, blah, blah. Next, agree to the terms and conditions. Select where you want to install it. Um, click on install. And then when that's finished, just click on finish and we should be good to go. So we can close down Chrome now. As you can see, we've now got an icon on our desktop for Droidcam. So if we just open that up, it will come up with this. Um, asking us how we're going to be connecting, so over Wi-Fi, over USB, or Wi-Fi server. Not quite sure what that is, um, but for our example, we're going to be using Wi-Fi. So then on the device IP section, now this is going to be unique to you depending on how your network set up. It will have randomly assigned an IP address for itself, but that's what we need from our Android app. So as you can see here uh, on my network, it's 192.168.50.177. That's a mouthful, so let's just put that in, 192.168.5.177. Uh, and then Droidcam port 4747, that matches what's on my phone as well. That's just the port that it's using to get through your firewall on your router, router. Don't know why I went American then, that was weird. Um, and then we just need to select what we want it to pull in. So for me, I only want it to be putting in the video aspect. If you need the audio as well, tick the audio box and then click on start. And then if I pick my phone up, there you go. You can see it is a hundred percent working. Don't don't look at my messy desk, okay? Now the interesting thing with this app is that it will actually um, allow your phone to fall asleep and still show the camera, um, and still so it will still send the video feed over Wi-Fi. So what does that mean? That means that you can use your phone as a monitor if you want, or uh, just conserve battery life. There you go. Mine's just gone off. If I show you this. Oh, it has gone off. All right. Hello. Okay, so you can see that the camera quality is actually quite good for what it pulls through Wi-Fi. And 
the the lag really isn't um, that much. I'll let you know on screen uh, whether it's got any milliseconds of latency between it and me talking. Now, as I said, the screen will go to sleep on your phone as default. Uh, the idea behind this is that it will allow for you know you to conserve some battery life, keeping the phone screen on. Once you're not really using it, looking at it, it will use quite a bit of your battery. So if you're doing this on battery power, then it should conserve quite a bit of that for you. Um, so that's quite a useful feature. Um, as you can see, though, down here on the app, we do have some uh, some grayed out controls, which fall under the Droidcam X model, uh, which is that five pound upgrade I told you about. So you've got zooms, um, white balance, maybe autofocus, mirror and mirror and flipping the image. Um, as standard, it does come through horizontally, so you know, you, you're not going to be holding your phone vertically like this, but if you have it horizontally on a little camera mount, then this should work pretty well for you. You can as well in the app actually tell it to turn the screen off. Um, so that's this button just right at the top here. Now, something else that we can actually do is um, if we just stop this for a second and go back onto the app, uh, click on the stop, connection will be stopped. Yep, no problem. All right, and then up here in the top hand corner of the app where it's got this little camera symbol if you click on that you can actually tell it which camera to use on your phone um, now i'm not quite sure why it's giving me two front and two backs that might be because i'm using the galaxy s10 and it's got tele um what are they called wide angle or telephoto lenses as well as just regular lenses so it might be dependent on which one those are but they're not named correctly so have a little bit of a mess around with which options it gives you to see which one gives you the best look for what you're trying to use it for um, but so I could choose the front one and then if we tell it to start So then if we go back onto the computer and click start again, then it should there you go Now it is using the front camera and again it is in uh, It's in landscape mode just moving the camera a little bit the latency between that really is kind of non-existent It's quite impressive. So then now that we've connected this to the PC What we need to do now is pull this into our preferred software uh, so that we can use it as a webcam whether that be zoom um, Or OBS in our case. So if we get OBS up here, this is going to cause a little bit of inception uh, Oh god, so now that we're in OBS We're going to go down to our sources in the bottom left hand corner click on the plus sign video capture device to add a new video capture we're going to call this Android for our purposes. Click on OK. And then from the device list, we're going to click on Droidcam Source 3. Now, for some reason, Source 2 crashes my computer. I'm not sure what it's meant to be for. Um, so your mileage may vary with this one. But for me, it's Source 3. Once your camera has shown up at the top here, then we can just click on OK. We don't want to be sitting with any of these, messing with any of these settings. Um, I did try and set a custom resolution to 1920 by 1080, but it didn't work. It did not like pulling the video feed through like that. So we just have to deal with a square frame. However, you can crop that image however you want here in OBS. Um, so there you have it though. Your phone is now showing up as a webcam within OBS. So there we have it guys. That is how to use your phone as a webcam on your PC. Obviously, you can use the same steps there to put that into Zoom, into Skype or any other video capture software on your PC that you want to use it for. Um, just select that Droid Cam input and you should be good to go. Don't forget that instead of using this as just your primary camera, you can use this in a creative way as well. For example, the way that I use this is that I actually have uh, one of my devices set up over here as a background shot for when I'm streaming on Twitch uh, for a behind the scenes kind of scene that I have going on. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, by the way, go and do so right now. Big friendly gamer underscore link will be on the screen and in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out this video. If it has helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content. It really does help the channel out and I appreciate it so, so, so much. Um, if you want to see what YouTube suggests you watch next, that video will be right up here. If you want to know what our latest upload is, that's going to be down here. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around or I'll see you on Twitch. Remember, be positive. Be awesome, and most importantly, be friendly.